Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, no. Yo, what's good Tristan? So today we've got Sean Mendes reacting to his own voice cracks on the Late Late Show with James Corden. Look, there's a million... Look, there's a million reasons why I love this video. I sort of took a sneak peek at it just last night. I couldn't help myself. It was, it, it was late. I was alone. My girlfriend was asleep. I just went to the bathroom and I watched it by myself. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help but check it out. Um, so I did cheat a little bit. This isn't a pure reaction, but that does give me a little bit of insight into this video, and it does give me an opportunity to tell you what this video is going to be about. So not only am I going to be talking about Sean Mendes' cute and amazing reaction to his voice cracks in this video, but I'm also going to be talking about why why I'm so nice. People always leave this comment. Usually it's a hate comment, but like, you're so nice in your videos. That's bad. And they get mad at me for it because apparently they want me as a vocal coach to be incredibly rude to everybody that I review or that I uh, talk about in my videos. But we're going to talk about why I'm so nice in this video. But before we get started, be sure you check out my website, youcansinganything.com. I am a vocal coach. I teach singing lessons online every single day through Skype. Also, down in that description, links to my cover channel, my vlog channel, and my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have a reward where I will review, <laughs> where I will review your singing in a video or through written format, whatever you prefer. All that being said, Sean Mendes reacting to his voice cracks. Here we go. You are, you're known for, you've been recently, you've been singing in your falsetto voice. I always get the worried. first time. You've been doing some, some. Ooh, killing it. By the way, James Corden referred to the falsetto as your false tone or whatever. That's not really, I mean, I guess you could say that, but just because you sing in falsetto, that doesn't mean that you're singing in a false voice. That's like an old opera thing. You don't gotta worry about it, but falsetto, just because someone sings in their falsetto doesn't mean they're singing anything false. Just turn that out there. That's when, what he does backstage all day, by, by the way. <laughs> now, when you go through puberty... <laughs> yes. Your voice gets lower. Yeah. Um, how did you discover that you could sing so high? Um... <laughs> I don't know. You, I guess I just kind of woke up one day. I was obsessed with falsetto. I, I worked with a coach for a lot of day, like three years to yeah. sing falsetto. Um, you know what I think is funny? There's always this thing with singers where they don't, sometimes they don't want to talk about the fact that they have a voice coach. And I think Sean Mendes had two thoughts at once. One thought was, hmm, well, I want to say that I was just born being able to sing that way. And then his other thought was, but oh, I have to be honest, I had a voice coach. But he winds up saying, the answer to James' question, how did you learn to sing in falsetto like that, is he had a voice coach for three years. All famous singers have voice coaches. Puberty. It's a weird thing. That's how you it learn is, to sing. It is people weird, don't. Right? Let me just. People think that learning to sing is like an inborn talent or whatever. You're just born with it. You wake up one day and you can do it. That's not true. That's like the most untrue thing that anyone could ever say. I get that comment in my comments all the time. People are like, "How can you be a voice coach? It's not possible. Either you can sing or you don't." It's like, guys, <laughs> Shawn Mendes has taken lessons. Trust me, you can take them too. Obsessed with falsetto. I worked with a coach for a lot of like three years to yeah. sing falsetto. Um, puberty. It's a weird thing. It is. It's it is weird, a weird thing right? because also your your voice was changing quite a lot in the last few years. Yeah, and you and saw me like at the beginning of puberty, halfway through. Yeah, I've now been I'm with a full-grown man with chest step hair. Of the way. <laughs> but we've actually though. cut I'm together for it. a little video <laughs> of Sean. Oh no! He seems genuinely Sean nervous. Mendes <laughs> going through puberty I didn't this. in front of millions. I did not approve this. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh no. Look, he's genuinely nervous and like freaked out about that. Did you see how he's like, oh. That last one is fake. No, no, please don't judge me for the last one. That last one wasn't real. Someone made that up. That, oh my God. Epic cringe. He's like genuinely nervous about this. It's actually, it's really funny. Well, not funny, but <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Another question that I do get a lot, by the way, is like, oh, when I sing, sometimes my voice cracks. Or like, how do I stop it from cracking? You don't stop it, your voice from cracking. You just get better as a singer over time. You don't really stop it from cracking. The cracks happen because there's a muscle that turns off. 
there's a muscle turning off when that happens. Some of those cracks might have been because of puberty, and some of those cracks just happen to singers. Like, when you're training your muscle to stay strong so that you can go, oh, higher, oh, and not, oh, not have that happen. When you're training your voice to do that, you're gonna have cracks because the muscle, oh, that lets you go up and pitch like that, you need to keep it strong. So anyway, sort of a side tangent. If anyone's ever wondering, like, my voice cracks, how do I make it stop cracking? You practice, bitch, and get a voice coach. <laughs> but practice. So let's watch that clip one more time, and then I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm so nice when it comes to talking about celebrities or anyone's voice in general. Going through puberty I didn't approve this. in front of millions. <laughs> I did not approve this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, watch him. His reaction to it. He's genuinely cringing. He's sweating, he's getting embarrassed. He's worried. <laughs> And James Corden is very, very smart. He breaks the ice really quickly by jumping to the next segment. So, you know, sometimes we'll be talking about a singer and maybe the singer has some technical issues in their singing and it's a video that I'm reviewing. And then I, I like to focus on the bigger picture. Like if someone's voice cracks, sometimes their people's voices just crack. It's just something that happens to your voice in the context of a performance. Sometimes a note goes flat, it just happens. And sometimes I get comments like, she's a professional level, he or she is a professional level level celebrity singer making millions of dollars, how dare you not point out that they were flat at three minutes and 22 seconds, you're not a real voice coach, you're too nice to them. And the reason why I think that's ridiculous is because they're still human beings. You can see how he cringes and how he reacts to his own mistakes and his own voice Right? Just because Shawn Mendes is a celebrity doesn't mean that he doesn't have feelings and emotions and he doesn't recognize his own mistakes. That doesn't mean that as a voice coach, I disagree with almost all of my colleagues on this, just because you're a voice coach that doesn't give you a right to be a bully to someone just because they make a mistake. That doesn't give you the right to hammer on their mistakes constantly and obsess over them when overall their performance is like way above average and just generally really, really good. So that's why I am so quote unquote nice is because I think fixating and focusing on the minutia and the small mistakes that happen when someone is singing, it misses the entire point of like, this is a really, really good singer and we need to respect that first and admire that first. And then the mistakes just come along with that. It, mistakes come along with being great at something. So. Hopefully that makes sense to y'all. I thought this was this would be a great video for me to address that. And also, it's just really cute. <laughs> if y'all want to check it out one more time, let's check it out one more time. Let's just hammer home this point. This is Shawn Mendes going through puberty. I didn't approve this. In front Look at of how he's wins. acting right now. He's I did like, not approve he's this. like, no. <laughs> He, and look, here's something I want you to notice too. He already knows the clip before it even plays. Well, look at his face. Through puberty. He already knows. In front of millions. I did not approve this. The crack hasn't even happened and he's already like, oh no, not this clip. Please, 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 please. You think that these celebrity singers aren't acutely aware of their mistakes? Of course they are. They, they, you don't get to that level of success and talent by not being acutely aware of your mistakes, almost cringingly aware of them in your faults and so on. <laughs> he takes it so good though. He even knows when when it's fake. It's so funny. He's like, oh no, I've I've been waiting for to address this. That one is fake. That one is fake. <laughs> he knows which ones are fake and which ones aren't fake. So yo, all that being said, everybody, be nice to each other. You know what I mean? Be nice to each other. Be nice to your own self about your own voice. Be nice to other people when you leave in comments about someone's mistakes or someone else's voice because they already know. People already know what they're fucking up. You know what I'm saying? They don't need you to remind them. Anyway, be sure you check out my website, youcansinganything.com. I do teach singing lessons online every single day through Skype. Also down in that description. Again, links to my vlog channel, my cover channel, and my Patreon. Peace out, Tristans! Ah. <laughs>